Dear colleagues, my name is Christian Reich. I'm professor for translational research in inflammatory skin diseases at the University Medical Center in Hamburg. And together with other German and US colleagues, we did an analysis regarding the therapeutic longevity, the potential to give psoriasis patients a long-term control with the IL-17A antibody secukinumab that was just published in the British Journal. So please allow me to walk you through the main findings. Now this is not real world data, it's clinical trial data, but the two clinical trials we selected allowed us to compare the therapeutic longevity over a 52 week period between secukinumab and A, ustekinumab and B, etanercept. For our analysis, we defined three response categories. Number one, insufficient response, PASI below 75. Good response, between PASI 75 and PASI 90 and excellent response PASI 90 and above. We also defined two efficacy patterns. One we called reduction in efficacy and this was defined as patients going down from a higher to a lower response category between two consecutive visits where this decrease was maintained for the third visit in order to avoid the analysis of just uh, fluctuations by chance. The second efficacy pattern was called loss of efficacy and this was defined as patients really going below a PASI 75 response. Now what were the main findings? In the CLEAR trial where secukinumab could be compared to ustekinumab, no loss of response over this one year period was seen in 90% of patients with treated with secukinumab compared to 74% of patients treated with ustekinumab. No reduction in efficacy, in other words what I would call a stable response so not even going down from a higher to a lower response category was observed for 78% of patients treated with secukinumab compared to 60% of patients treated with ustekinumab. Actually, the findings were similar for atanercept. So what does this mean? It means that at least in these clinical trials using the categories I explained to you, the therapeutic longevity of the IL-17A antibody secukinumab appeared to be at least as good, if not better, then that observed for a drug like ustekinumab that I think around the world is perceived as a drug that gives patients a very stable response. We also did additional analysis. We looked into subgroups, for example, defined by weight and previous failure to therapy and tried to identify are there subgroups that have a higher or lower chance to have a stable response. But in order to find out about these results, you have to go back and read the paper. Thank you very much for your attention.